here at Country Shop. You're so welcome. Uh, we're really excited uh, for this weekend. We're hoping it's going to be, we're going to learn a lot of great stuff, but also we're going to make some friends, hang out, have a great time as well. That's kind of the idea behind the camp. We can come, have these guys come, do one session, and then head back home, or we can invite them for the weekend, be their hosts, become friends, and build a relationship. And that's what we want to do with the Butcher Shop, and hopefully some friendships we build as we sweat on each other and beat each other up this weekend. Um, we're really happy to have uh, Alejandro and Michael here. Also, their girlfriends are with them too, Autumn and Kira. We're really glad to have you both with us. In fact, it is Alejandro and Autumn's first ever time in Canada. I asked them, I asked them last night, what did you do for food tonight? And their answer was, <laughs> so uh, they started. They started the community experience off right. Uh, I know a lot of the techniques that Michael brought to us earlier in the year in April. I know in this gym we are using and drilling. We're super excited. So I'm gonna be quiet, hand over to you two boys, and let's get going. Uh, let's start off with some game fighting. I just want you guys to focus on using your thumbs to like range the the distance. So like you can always use your thumb thumb block in the bend of his arm or the armpit, or even the wrist. This really just doesn't let him make good contact on me. And uh, really focus on just pushing. Start going, you know, just moving your park around. Start using your feet, just tap. You know, because we're going to get into a lot of like foot sweeps, the front headlock stuff. So spread out with a partner. We'll just do like two or three rounds, hand fighting, and get warmed up, and then we'll get into some technique. Basically from here, it comes from bend, collar tying in the head, all right? Opposite side hand is going to reach for the wrist, and then I'm going to look over my right shoulder and pull this hand uh, to the tricep, and pull it to my chest. So he collar ties me, I come here, and I come here, I look away, pull it here. I should have two hands under it. I'm turning, I turn, I use the momentum of me turning away to get that collar tie off my head. So I turn away, but I'm holding onto that wrist really tight. So then all I have to do is catch that bicep with my palm. Kind of like the overtime shrug almost. Very similar to that. You can't come to the bicep before I So the wrist comes first. So boom, he gets here. I go here and grab the wrist as hard as I can. And as I'm turning, I catch. And then here's just another little tip, guys. Like, like if you're struggling to get this glue to your body, I, I pull my shoulders back. Like you're doing a row. And I, like, I have a bird chest. So I push my, my little bird chest into their elbow and it puts pressure on their elbow. Boom, here. So like, if he's like strong, he's pulling his arm away from me, I'll turn my chest up like this and I'll point his elbow out to get him to posture up and I'll keep it and put him down. You guys can drill this on your own or you know, I can go over it again tomorrow or something. But anytime you guys are here in that 201 and you don't have to do it because you forgot everything that I showed you, <laughs> it's as easy as this to get my back. Let go of the wrist, arm drag. <laughs> So, if you forget everything I showed you, which you might, you come here, you let go of the wrist, reach for the armpit, and drag. 
你数蛋，还让他蛋。
great to have well, you made up late last night. Great to have you uh, here for the rest of the weekend. It's going to be a great time. So thanks for making the trip. You're very welcome. It'll be a great time. We had a great night last night. I was slide by in my sleep last night. Looking forward to building on that this afternoon. But we're super excited about doing a couple of key sessions. Alejandro's going to take us take us from here. So uh, let's welcome the boys back and let's go. I'm going to show some of my favorite takedowns in the E. So when I came to uh, PSF and uh, Daisy Fresh, uh, I was I'm a wrestler, wrestling base. So when we did and we do half E, half no E. So like I know most people think we're just no E guys, but we literally do E and no E every single day, five six days a week. So uh, figuring out how to get people to the ground without them snatching me up and grabbing my lapel and annoying the hell out of me was like something that took me a long time to get to get to go. So I'll show you guys one of my favorite takedowns. I can hit this like. 90% of the time that someone will stand up on the feet with me in the gi, and it's a fake guard pull and ankle pick. And I have a lot of success with it, and I have a good way of showing it to people from white belt all the way up to black. So I think you guys will get a, uh, a good kick out of it. So um, basically, what we need to get this tank down is just, uh, I like to get uh, my collar grip right here. I get my collar grip right here. And then I like to do this thing called like, I call it like a flamingo stance, right? So I come here, and I like sit in this chair here, and I drop my butt here, here, right? So I just come here, I sit my butt down, I bring my leg up to like make them feel like they're, like I'm gonna pull. It's about feel, you have to feel the slide by coming, right? You know what you're gonna get slide by, slide by now you know how to feel the slide by, right? So as he's going to slide me by, I'm stepping all the way around him. So if he slides back, I'm stepping around, I'm using my elbow, I'm not letting my arm go through, right? So like as he's stepping by, I'm using my elbow to frame, stepping around him, dropping my butt, and I'm cross taking his arm over. So this looks like fast. If it was the 80s and two rule set, I would wrap my arms around his waist and hold him there. Get my two points. Incredible, Alejandro and Michael. We just love having them. Uh, it's great because you know I grew up uh, been doing jiu-jitsu a long time and kind of a product of starting on my knees too much all the way up to you know brown 
uh, Brian Black Belt and really just trying to like uh, bring up our gym stand up and the boys just came in and just hit it with us wrestling, wrestling for Jiu Jitsu, really just filling in gaps that we have at our gym and really just bringing the techniques that we need to raise our whole team so it's been, it's been fantastic. My name is Silas Walters, 27 years old and I train at the Butcher Shop. I've known about Daisy Fresh for probably like four or five years now. I saw the original clips on YouTube and then uh, when the Flow series came out I started watching there and then just followed everyone since. Been to a Will T seminar, second seminar with Hicksley, first one with Drow. It's been fucking killer. <laughs> I, I got a soft spot for Picks, that's my boy. He fucking just, he know where I'm trying with me. So I'm gonna be sitting with that for like the next month or until he comes back. We got a uh, Christian who trains here, another blue belt. He's been down, he's kind of the introducer of uh, these guys to here. So I'm gonna try and hop in with him, come get some training, and hopefully before, uh, I don't know if we'll make it before Worlds, but that'd be the hope.